Hello everybody, this is Howard the Teaser King coming out with week two of the NFL video. Nice week last week. It was be careful, let's see what's out there, which I did. And now I'm a little bit have a little bit more info to make more smart bets like I had Dallas last week, but I love Kellen Moore as the offensive coordinator, so I could be confident with them. Buffalo over the Jets was a trend play. It was just, the dog was very good there. Uh, New Orleans over, and uh, there was a few other, what was the other games? Uh, San Diego, which let it slip, but they had the game. And New England, which killed Pittsburgh. And Dallas and Buffalo. When they all were in the Frisco game, I actually was counting on the interceptions by Winston. I know he throws a lot. I thought Frisco would score more, but I thought Tampa would score more too. Anyway, we got the over there and the over in the New Orleans game with the minute left, but they all count. And anyway, so I'm just trying to uh, experiment here with little shorter videos. Um, trying to keep the content, but just keep it a little bit shorter. Uh, people might not have the time to watch when I really get into, you know, off on a tangent, which I know a lot of people like, but um, we can still do that, but I'm just trying to get a little bit cleaned up. Uh, so anyway, week two, huge lock going. It's a college pro lock, $65. Go to www.teaserking.com. Go to purchase picks. Uh, if ever I give you a deal, you're not going to see it on the site, obviously. And you just go to PayPal, you type in the email, put in the amount that we agree on, and then I send you the password of the games. Uh, that way. Um, I'm very flexible. I want people of different, you know, not everybody's a millionaire betting football. They can easily afford it. So for people with a little bit less bankrolls, I still want them to make money. So I'm able to work with them a little bit, uh, give them a little bit off, and then we can build the bankroll and then they can afford normal rates. So that's my intent. Anyway, so the big lock going. Just love this lock. Um, I have an extremely strong dog and an extremely strong favorite in my lock. And again, it's College Pro. When I'm hunting for another lock, uh, the pros are loaded. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven very strong plays in the pros this week. Love them. Uh, so I could easily have another lock, or I'm going to be putting the lock with another strong play. Let me give you a game. Uh, let's go to Dallas and Washington. The game's at Dallas, at Washington. Dallas is only laying five. In the series, Dallas is 9-2 and two the last 11 and 5-0 and oh the last five in Washington. So they play in Washington very well. Washington, you know, I like the quarterback's okay, but he's not great. Dallas, I think, with this offense is tremendous. With Elliott back, uh, Kellen Moore, I love. He should have been the quarterback for the Lions for the last 10 years. They screwed that up, but other things. So, basically, uh, the trend is Dallas. Uh, let's quickly look at... Dallas scores, well, see, here's the problem. I don't have enough info. I have one game, but it's not like college where they play this Division II team. You know, they play, uh, you know, Saginaw Valley, and they beat them 74 to nothing. You don't get any information. Here it's all pros. So Dallas won 35-17. Washington, which lost 32-27, 30, 27-32. to 32. So it's going to be Washington's defense is weak. They gave Philly 30 points. Dallas should do the same. Dallas's defense is much better than Philly's at this point, and I don't think Washington will score the 27. Case Keenum's okay. They threw for 380 yards and 400 yards in total offense on Philly. Again, getting new to their offense with Keenum. Dallas put up 500 yards of offense, 400 passing and 89 running. So you have a very strong team. As far as the is the stats uh, Dallas as a road favorite well we got to go back a year Dallas is a road favorite from 2017 2018 is six and one 86 percent 
as a road favorite. Washington as a home dog is three and five, but against six and two. So Washington's a weak home dog. Dallas is a strong road favorite. The, the trend is Dallas is nine and two against Washington, five and zero oh in Washington. So it's not like they have a. You know, some teams like Pittsburgh and Cincinnati. I think Cincinnati couldn't win in Pittsburgh for for twenty years. My uh, Miami owned Buffalo in the seventies. So that's what you had. You don't have that here. You have the edge on Dallas. One more year back, 2016 through 2018, Dallas 9 and 2 is a road favorite, 82 percent. Washington straight up or in the teaser. So with the teaser, they're 4 and 6, 7 and 3 against as a home dog. So it just shows Washington's not a good home dog. Dallas travels well because they can run Elliott. Their defense is good. I look for Dallas. No, two touchdown win. Love the game. Um, that's just one of the games. So what I'm looking at now, I'm looking at, you know, who's the overs and who's the unders. I do something with the variance of the offense and defensive numbers. Obviously, Baltimore's the best, but I don't believe they're 49 points better. But New England at 30, I kind of do believe them. So Miami's not as bad as they played. Baltimore's not as good as they played. So you always got to take that away in week, in, in any of these early weeks. The team isn't as good as, you know, one win, 40 to nothing. Well, they're really not 40 to nothing. A lot of it's turnovers. The other team's not as bad. It was a bad matchup. This is poker, even though it's football. Every week's a new game. Now, New England goes to Miami, so it's still Miami. But now Baltimore is uh where are they baltimore's home to arizona and i think that spread's way too high they're laying 13. you know i think it's a big number in the pros but my point is now you have like different teams you know kansas city's now at oakland so oakland's not playing denver this week oakland's got kc it's a whole new matchup it's a whole new hand of cards and that's what you got to understand so you take it for a grain of salt. You try to get the team. So like now, team identities, I'm saying Washington's an over. Dallas is an A team. Good offense, good defense. I got Houston as an over. But now I got like Green Bay as an under team. But I'm not sure. But after going against Chicago, now they get Minnesota. And I got Minnesota as an A team. Good offense, strong defense. They'll probably go more towards an under team. But well, Atlanta's not a bad team. I mean, they're not terrible. So you look at that, you start getting the personalities. Are they an A team? Are they good offense, weak defense? Good over team. They can score, but they're like Kansas City, great over team. You got you got uh, Minnesota, normally a great under team. Maybe the Bears this year. Uh, not a great offense, great defense. And then you got the Z team, like the Lions, like uh, Miami. They can't score, and they give up a lot of points. Those are what you want to bet against. But you're looking for the right spread. So take Dallas. Uh, you get one. It doesn't really matter. They, they should win by two touchdowns. But it's under seven anyway. So take Dallas. And I'll have a whole slew of games uh, to be played with them. So anyway, www.teaserking.com. This is a great week for the pros. And a big lock going. College pro lock. My college. Uh, I have about six strong games. Last week I had 11. I went 10 and 1. And then this week I'm probably going to have probably four teasers, probably about eight teams. I'll probably lock the lock. You know, I could lock it with Dallas, uh, one of the teams. Uh, but if you buy, if you want to play a four or five team teaser and you get better odds if you do, this is a good week to play like a lock with the pros and you can take. My, uh, my big four big ones plus the lock, and you can play a 16 teaser and feel pretty comfortable that this is a pretty good chance I'm going to win this one. Uh, where sometimes you're kind of, you know, it's like playing poker. Sometimes you got nine jack, but you play it, and nine jack of diamonds, and sometimes you got aces and kings, and you play that hand. So some weeks you're kind of forcing the play. This week I've got the hands and the cards to play it. So anyway, good luck to everybody. Uh, I'm here for questions. Just email me, uh, www.teaserking.com. I got a Teaser King page on Facebook. 
Atiza King on Twitter. Go there. You can you can leave me comments and and uh, questions and uh, you know anything you want. Okay, everybody, have a great week. Again, www.teaserking.com.